Hi, this is Carol Harnett with another One Take Work Love Play Daily Video Blog. And this blog post are my pre-thoughts as I write my column for HR Executive, which I must say for FCC purposes is a client, and they hire and pay me to write the column, but they do not influence or require this blog. So I believe the name of my um, blog post, or uh, column actually, I guess, um, is going to be something about the outsider's influence on health and benefits. And what I'm realizing as I'm tracking what's going on is that there are some people who've never really worked in the benefits area or in the health area or in the wellness area or in the behavior change area, yet they're potentially going to get involved or already are getting involved, and they indeed may be the people who bring the greatest change. And the three that are coming to mind immediately to me, and there are probably more, number one for certain is the RFI that came out about Walmart potentially entering the primary care physician space. Think about that. That could be incredible. They understand the consumer market space. They are having declining profits from the retail space and they have a great track record of controlling cost and getting the most value out of things. So it could be tremendously interesting and tremendously impactful on health and even on how benefits are rendered around health care, at least in the primary care space. Uh, secondly for me um, is Jawbone. has entered the um, e-health space or the m-health space, mobile health space. I'm actually wearing a Jawbone up. Uh, it had a lot of problems in the beginning uh, from a usability perspective primarily with the battery and with syncing. And there was an apology email that came out to people who participated in the initial buying of the app uh, by the CEO of the company, very well done, basically offering a no-risk guarantee that you can get an up, and uh, if you love it, you can keep it, and you know certainly go ahead and pay for it. If you don't love it, you can get a refund, and you don't even have to return it. You can continue to use it. What I love about it is uh, it's easy, it's comfortable. I don't remember that I have it on. It comes in sizes. It tracks what I, how much I sleep and how well I sleep. It tracks how many steps I take. I can use RunKeeper-like uh, programs within it to use GPS to track my outdoor running and workouts. Uh, and it also uses uh, uh, the iPhone's uh, camera capabilities to track what you eat and most importantly to beep you back a couple hours later and ask you how you feel which frankly for me as somebody who's involved tremendously in health and wellness was a real eye-opener with one meal I ate at a chain bookstore cafe that I didn't like didn't finish and two hours later felt terrible but that just reinforced that I'll never eat there again uh, in, a, in a really interesting way for me so Jawbone is number two and what they're doing with the up and then number three for me is, I'm going to come back to a company I've mentioned a couple times already, I really think BetterWorks is on to something with their model of employee perks for all. I think they haven't even begun to tap into the potential of that, meaning that since they're doing a lot of hyper-local negotiation of benefits and discounts, that there is a whole world of things they could do around local dentists and local vision places, particularly where people get uh, eyeglasses and contacts um, that could usurp what we're doing with dental benefits and vision benefits. And obviously they could do the same with pet insurance as well uh, without an insurance like product just using discounts and probably coming to an overall par target point price that might be lower than what you would pay in premium. So I think there's tremendous potential there. So those are my thoughts on what outsiders are going to bring to employee benefits. I may think, I think that they may be the ones that will change the world. So this is Carol Harnett with another One Take Work, Love, Play daily video blog saying that I hope you've enjoyed some tremendous work today, that you're going to enjoy some tremendous love and that you don't forget to play.